I have served the global community as a nuclear witness, urging the fulfillment of justice because I know with my own experience the devastating impacts of nuclear weapons and why the world must work meaningfully towards their elimination. Decades after the Non-Proliferation Treaty, decades after the world experienced heightened threats of the Cold War, and decades after the conclusion of devastating nuclear testing in the Marshall Islands, I might be branded by some as a radical for my impassioned conviction against the use, testing, or possession of nuclear weapons. Between 1946 and 1958, the United States conducted 67 large-scale nuclear tests in the Marshall Islands. That is the equivalence of 1.6 Hiroshima shots every day for 12 years. During testing, our population was the subject of medical surveillance to measure the impact of fallout under a program in which American scientists stated of the Marshallese subjects, quote, they are more like us than mice. 175 wrenches of radiation. Most humans are exposed to less than 20 wrenches in a lifetime. But the Marshallese have another reason to persist now, with an average height of little more than two meters above sea level. That's all open so narrow that one can stand on the lagoon side and look clearly across to the ocean side where waves break. The world is well off track to deliver safe global missions which assure our survival. Because it cannot and will not be that the Marshallese will ever again bear such global burdens. We may be poor, we may be brown, we may be from remote Pacific Islands that many struggle to find on the map, but we should not have been ignored six decades ago any more than we should be ignored today. Do, do, do.